I don't think my camera zoomed out yet. Uh, it is what it is. Well, I guess it's kind of nice that I'm closer up. Um, but yeah, let's let's start with our breath. So yeah, you can. Um, so for Pilates, if you want, you can put your device like right here, and so you you just you can like almost look with your peripheral vision at what I'm doing uh, while you are exercising. Inhale through the nose, and then exhale out through the mouth. Create a roundness in your spine. Draw the abdominals in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. Feel your, your spine kind of stack up. One on top of each other. Like you're leaning up against a wall. And then exhale. Draw the abs in. Gently press sort of into the wall. That last one, inhale. And then exhale. Start to roll on down here. And we continue to breathe. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Try to keep the abdominals flat. Flatten them down even more on the exhale. And then just release the abs on the inhale. Try to bring the breath into the lungs and allow the chest to rise as opposed to the belly rising. Inhale and exhale. So if your device is uh, down the foot of the mat, um, that's fine because right now you know what we're doing. We're going to lift the legs to tabletop. So keeping the inference. So you can always glance up, take a look at what I'm doing. And then from there, realign your head and neck with your spine. Exhale to lower one leg, inhale to lift, exhale to lower. So we're not trying to straighten out the legs here. We are tapping the toes out, keeping the knees bent at 90 degrees, maintaining that imprint. So go at your own pace, keep breathing. When you're ready, we're gonna go down with both legs and you can go down as far as you like. If you feel your lower back come off the mat then just stop the lowering of the legs. More important that the lower back stays imprinted than the toes go down to the mat. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale lower. Inhale lift. Go ahead and bring the heels down to the mat. Just slide your heels a little closer to your butt for our shoulder bridge. Inhale, tailbone's on the ground. Exhale, imprint. Lift the tailbone first, reach those knees away from your shoulders and find that length in your spine. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly roll down. This is our hip bridge. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press through your feet, squeeze the glutes. Find length in the front of the body. Inhale at the top. Exhale, slowly lower down. And take your time. You want to feel your butt working. You're going to feel a little stretch in your hip flexors. Try to keep the glutes engaged the entire time until the tailbone hits the floor. One more time here. Lowering down one vertebra at a time. Ab prep. Inhale. Nod the chin, look toward your knees. Exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulder blades. Inhale for a hold. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale, exhale. Use your abdominals to lift the rib cage, to shift the rib cage toward the hips. And also 
to use your abdominals to lift the shoulder blades off the floor. And make sure you're nodding the chin, looking towards your knees. We want to protect the neck so we're not going to look at the ceiling. From here, we're going to go into hundreds. Oh, there goes my zoom out. We're going to go to hundreds. You can keep your feet on the floor as we pump our arm. You can lift the legs to tabletop, straight or on the diagonal. Here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, ten. Reach with the fingers. Exhale, two, three, four, twenty. Nice strong wrist and arms. We're moving at the shoulder joint. Thirty. Inhale. Exhale. Forty. Inhale. Exhale. Fifty. Inhale. Exhale. You can change your leg positions at any time. So if I want to change the tabletop, I can. Nothing that says you gotta stick with one leg position. Inhale. And exhale. We're at eighty. Inhale. Exhale, 90, inhale, and exhale. There's 100. All right, we're going to come onto our stomach. This is to warm up the muscles around our spine. So let's keep the feet separated, but resting on the mat. Forearms on the ground for some support. Inhale. Gentle pressure into the forearms as you lift the chest, keeping the head and neck aligned with the spine. So if you imagine yourself just tucking your chin slightly, as you lift the chest off the ground, that should help keep your head and neck aligned with the spine. Inhale to lift, exhale lower. I'm going to do one more with arm support. And now I'm going to take my arms away. Think length. So the top of the head is reaching forward and slightly up, reaching away from those toes. The arms reach toward the toes as well, and maybe a little upward just to get some shoulder blade retraction there. So you feel your shoulder blades gently squeeze towards each other. You're opening up that chest, working on those postural muscles. Let's do two more. Last one. Good. So throughout that spine exercise, I never looked up or right or left. I just kept my head and neck aligned with the spine. So we're stretching the spine here. Then we're going to go into our plank. We're going to hold this for three breaths. And we're going to try to make it the slowest three breaths we can. So get those elbows underneath the shoulders. Look at your thumbs. Keep the head and neck aligned the spine. Take your feet about hip distance apart and lower your hips to about shoulder height. It's okay if it's a little higher, as long as you feel your abs, but try not to have your hips lower than the shoulders. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Out through the mouth, really focusing on drawing the abs up and in for the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Fire up those quadriceps. If your legs are not straight, they should be now. Inhale, and exhale. Good, that was our three breaths. Breaths are about, in, an inhale is about two to three seconds, as is an exhale, so if we're looking about five to six seconds for a full inhale and exhale. So we're in the front half of our mats. We're gonna keep those shoulders relaxed as we do our half rollbacks. Draw the abdominals in. It's like you're going to articulate your way down the mat, but you're pausing when your lower back is just hovering above the mat. You can either keep a curved spine when you sit up, or you can lengthen. And I'm going to look straight ahead so I can keep my head and neck aligned the spine here. Let's keep those toes anchored to the floor. If you go back, and your feet fly off the floor, that's basically your body kind of giving you the hint that you've gone a little too far back, too much so for your abdominals. So we want to push to our limits, but also be aware of where we want to go for good technique. So go as far back as you can with that C curve, but 
Keep the toes anchored to the floor. Claire, arm positions. So kind of like the hundred and we're patting the water. So you can turn your palms down if you like. So pick a position. Sort of challenging. And from here, we'll pulse it. And go wider and wider. Take an exhale up to here. Should feel more work. Pulse it in. Inhale. Less work when your arms are forward. Exhale. Pulse it out. Inhale. Pulse it in. Last time. Exhale. Pulse it out. A lot of endurance of the abdominal. Inhale. Pulse it in. Good. Sit up. Take a break. And we'll try that one more time. So again, endurance of the abs. If you find that going out in three times is a little too much, feel free to sit up at any time and take a break and then join us again. So we're going to go back on the exhale. Start to inhale here, pulsing. And then exhale to go out. You can decide how far back you want to go. The farther to the back the arms are, the more challenging. Inhale, bring it in. I wouldn't let the arms go behind the body. Exhale out to the side. Inhale towards the front. Last time, exhale out to the side. And inhale to the front. So similar to the hundreds arms, the wrist is nice and straight. The motion happens at the shoulder joint. So for our full roll up, and bring the leg to tabletop. Let's make it a nice Slow flow, inhale, arms, head, shoulder blades. And then I'm just gonna to continue to roll as I extend the leg, use my abdominals to peel my spine off the floor. Okay, stretch your spine and hamstrings. Anchor the heels as you inhale to roll back. Exhale, continue to roll down. Other leg lifts the tabletop, just one leg. So we're really trying not to pause as we do this. Basically, once your shoulder blades are lifted, you're going to start to straighten your leg and peel your spine up. Inhale, arms, head, shoulder, legs, and spine. And I transition to that exhale during that roll up. Inhale, start to roll down. Exhale, roll all the way down. Legs up. Inhale, arms. Exhale, spine. Inhale. Keep alternating the legs. Inhale. When I see spine, it's really abs. It's your abs that are pulling your spine off the ground. Feel free to hang out a little longer in the stretch. We're not going to be doing like a 30 second stretch here. Um, but it doesn't need to be super brief. One more time on your side. and aiming for a smooth transition. Last time. So second leg to tabletop. All right, we're gonna do some variations of, um, adjust your pants, it's easy. We're gonna do some variations of the ab series. You might see some exercises that you're, uh, you, you know, accustomed to seeing, but with just some slight variations. We're going to take the hands behind the head. Go ahead and extend, uh, sorry, go ahead and lift both legs to tabletop. And for now, just do the single leg stretch. And we're doing, so normally I do single leg stretch here or here. And we're just going to have the hands behind the head. So imprint that lower back, extend the leg on any one diagonal. So the lower of the diagonal of the leg, the more challenging it is to the imprint. So you can decide how challenging you want to make the exercise. And the other factor is, is the knee. How far does it pull in? If it pulls in really close to the chest, it also helps reinforce the imprints. A leg that stops at tabletop will be more challenging to the imprint. So I'm going to play around with some angles here the knee angle as well as the angle of the extended leg. 
Good. And now we're going to do some variations of ab series. So we'll pause with, I guess, the front leg in front. I mean, sorry, the front leg bent. And then we're going to crunch up and rotate. Good. From here, turn back down. Switch for three, two, and one. Pause, lift, and rotate. Both shoulder blades come off the ground. Come on down. Switch for three, two, and one. Be careful when you lift that you're not just rolling onto the other shoulder blade. You're actually lifting up. So this shoulder blade is off the ground too. And down. Switch for three, two, and one. Switch. Okay, let's try that a couple more times. The two more lifts. And lift and switch three, two, keep alternating the breath. Good. Take a break if you need. From here, we're gonna go from tabletop to a scissor. So let me show you that again. Tabletop. One leg is going to straighten towards the floor, and the other is going to straight to the ceiling. Okay? And for, if you want, we can just keep the upper body still for now, and you can always keep the upper body still. Tabletop, and now switch the legs. Scissor. Tabletop, exhale, scissor. Inhale. Other leg goes up to the ceiling. Scissor. And then we can add upper body if you'd like. So one more time without the upper body. Okay, just the hands are behind the head. You're supporting the neck, but it's also harder on the abs because you're lifting the weight of your arms. So arms here, easier on the abs, but your neck is also on its own, okay? So I'm gonna show with my arms down here for this one, but you can also have your arms here. So we're gonna inhale to prepare, exhale, scissor. Inhale. Lower the head, neck, and shoulder blade. Exhale, scissor, other leg goes up. Inhale, back to tabletop. Exhale, scissor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. It's okay if your legs are a little bit. Good. All right. So again, these are just variations of the ab series. Um, the app series you've seen before, um, all this stuff. We're going to do one more exercise, all right? I would say that this one might be uh, the most challenging. So we're going to once again put the hands back behind the head. We'll have the feet on the ground, so that makes it a little less challenging. Um, first, the legs. Let's just relax the upper body for a second. The front leg will lift the tabletop. It will extend on the diagonal. It'll return to tabletop and it'll come down. Back leg lifts the tabletop, extends on the diagonal, returns to tabletop and down. Now when we add the upper body, I lift the front leg to tabletop and I rotate. So there's that sort of bicycle again. I'm going to keep both shoulder blades off the ground as I extend the leg and square up. So now both shoulder blades are equally off the ground, same height. I'm going to return to that rotation, and then I'm going to lower everything. So upper body is rotate, center, rotate, and down. Let's do the back leg. Immediately inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, most shoulder blade off the ground, center. Exhale, rotate, and then inhale down. And don't worry if you have to take your time with this to try to get the coordination of it. Because the slower you do it, the more effective it is, right? The more you work. So try not to rush through this. Back to the first leg. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center, shoulder blade off the ground. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, lower foot and head. Exhale, to the back leg. Inhale, center. Exhale, and return. First side again, exhale, inhale. So our, our head, neck, and shoulder blades are off the ground for a little longer, a little more endurance here. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. Let's try one more time on each side and then we will go into our stomach 
for a little break. Last time. I love it. So I'm actually going to be pretty fatigued. So let's go ahead and flip over and do our brush stroke. Brush stroke is this big arm circle, like we're swimming in the water. We start with our chest low, nose really close to the floor, bring the arms forward on the exhale. As you start to circle the arms back, inhale, reach for the toes, lift the chest, tuck the chin slightly, and that's your finish. Exhale, lower, and reach forward again. Let's kind of let it trace along your, your body as it finds its way forward. Inhale to lift that chest. Again, keeping the head and neck aligned with the spine. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, still keeping the feet on the floor, focusing on the spine muscles. Give me two more. It's also not just great for your spine, but also for your shoulder range of motion. Okay. Get yourself up into that stretch. Do double leg stretch in a little bit. Do some sideline work. You can lie down on your side using the back edge of the mat as a guideline. I mean, as a guidance guideline. All right, so if you're slightly wobbly, then you're in the right position. Use a few fingers for a kickstand. You can point or you can flex the foot or you can do a little bit of both. You can inhale, point, lift, no higher than the hips, exhale, flex, lower. Make sure this top hip doesn't hike. You want your top leg as straight as and as lengthened as possible. Inhale, point, lift, exhale, flex, lower. Tuck in the outer thighs, which are one of the core muscles because they attach to your pelvis. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, point, lift, exhale, flex. Lower abdominals drawn in to stabilize. I, I like to use fingertips instead of my whole hand uh, because it reminds me not to put a ton of pressure into the hand. I do want my abs to do some stabilizing. I don't want my hands to do all that stabilization work. It's a little circle today. We're going to pulse. So, Keep those kneecaps facing forward, pulse, pulse, just a little up and down. You can like do uh, 100 breathing, you can inhale for five pulses, exhale for five. Just keep alternating the breath here. Now we're going to pick up the bottom leg and do what we call a heel clap or a foot clap. We're clapping yes. our arches together. I'm exercising. I'll call you. Thank you. Clap, clap, clap. Oh, this is a neat people. Oh. Clap, clap. Okay, from there, scissor the legs. So you're just clapping here with your legs high and then you're gonna scissor, one goes forward and one goes back. Give me four more. Just feel your release here. All right, good. Gonna switch sides. Not doing too much, but what's really weird is I got uh, my booster yesterday and like my butt muscle is really sore. As in like when I sit on it, it like kind of hurts. I have no idea if that's related to the booster. 
I just don't think I've done anything different this week to, to warrant really, really sore butt muscles. So I am blaming it on the booster shot that I got in my arm for my butt. Anyways, last inhale, point lift, exhale, flex lower, and making sure our hip doesn't hike. The abdominals are engaged, stabilize our body. Hopefully there's no tension in the neck. The neck and head are just resting on the arm. Inhale, point lift, exhale, flex lower. Really, you can exhale to lift, inhale to lower too. It's, when we're doing our leg lift series, it's uh, breath can go either way. All right, let's hold sec. Lift, lift. You can do it with your foot flex if you uh, feel any cramping in your foot. Regardless of position, your kneecap face forward, your toes are facing forward, pulse, pulse. Very small range of motion. All right, let's clap our feet. You can go, I guess, as fast as you want. Um, the challenge is that both legs are elevated. And then you're kind of creating a specific movement pattern. So you're opening and closing. So it's not, you do need some coordination for this. And then you're going to feel it here in the obliques. All right, and just as you start to really get fatigued, go ahead and scissor the legs for eight, seven. No movement waist and above, just all on the legs. Six, all in the hip socket. Five. Four, three, two, very nice, and one, good. Come onto our backside for a quick stretch. So this is one way of stretching uh, your, your outer thigh and glutes. Um, another way of stretching, if you've never done it this way, is you're sitting you bend your knees in and then you just kind of shift everything forward. Um, this is kind of a nice way too because you're kind of relying on, you know, just your body physically being in a certain position that deepens the stretch versus having to pull your legs toward your chest. If you notice, like I can get my chest a lot closer to my legs this way. And then for some reason, when I try to pull, I just, I just can't really get my legs that close to my chest. So feel free to try either method for the stretch. Sometimes we just want to lie down, so it's like, oh, we don't want to sit up. So there's a nice way of being on our backs while stretching. Switch legs if you haven't switched yet. And then we're going to go into a little bit more ab series related exercises. So we're going to have our legs at tabletop. Knees together, hands on the outside of the knees. Good. So we're going to reach front arm and front leg away from each other. Stay imprinted. Decide how low you want to go. Back arm, back leg. Front arm, front leg. Exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale. Quadricep engage as you reach the leg. It's not just a lowering of the leg. It's an extension and a reach with a very specific, you know, almost like I want to specifically reach to a, this angle. Be, be deliberate in your movement versus kind of just, you know, you know, I, I can just sort of lazily extend my legs, right? Now, truly the opposite. So it's going to be the Front arm and back leg. So now my hand's just floating here because I've got nothing to touch anymore. And then switch. Opposite limbs. Same imprint. Exhale, reach. Inhale, return. Just different coordination challenges. Okay, last challenge is the double leg stretch, which is Everything extending. 
I'll do a few with my head, neck, and shoulders on the floor. Remember, you can extend to any angle. So if you want to go higher, go higher. It's more challenging to the imprint to go lower. So I'm going to do one more with my head down. And now I'm going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders and do a few. Now, make sure when you are in the head, neck, and shoulders lifted, that you don't lower the shoulders when you extend the arm and then lift it back up. It's not an up and down motion. Once your head, neck, and shoulders are lifted, they are just up. So reach your arms high and then back. Exhale, reach. Give me two more. High. Up. Good. Okay, great. So that was double leg stretch, if you recall. Now we're going to do some glutes. So that was all a lot of hip flexors too. So one way of stretching the hip flexor is to do a shoulder bridge or a hip bridge. And of course, the other way to work our butt is to do this exercise. So do this for the warm up with articulation. So lifting up one vertebra at a time. And now we're going to not do it with articulation. We stabilize one side as we move the other. So my front leg is going to be the one that moves and my back leg is going to be the stabilizer. So what I want you to think about is as you lift up into your hip bridge, both the right and left hip are at the same height, hands down the floor to stabilize. I want you to shift all your weight to the back leg and get the weight off the front leg. So shift my toe. See, I can lift my toe. I'm going to tap my toe out to the side, and then back. Align with my hip, about 30 degrees out to the side. Maybe three or four taps, and then tap it back in. All right, tap, tap, tap. Again, it doesn't matter really how many taps it takes you to go out there, but you wanna go about 30 degrees out, and when you move your leg away from the midline, it creates more challenge to the abs. If you go too far, you're going to fall. You don't want to fall. All right, so find the angle that challenges you. Last time here. And then come on down. We're going to do the same thing, but the other side. So front leg glutes are stabilizing. Shift all your weight to the front leg. I don't I'm not lifting my back leg, right? I'm just getting the weight off of it so that I can tap, 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 tap. Because if I keep the weight on my foot, I can't tap and move it. Right and left hip, same height. Use your hands, press into the floor. Because you have a hand on each side of you, it helps with the stabilization as your leg taps out to the side. I mean, it would be so much harder if my arm was off the ground. That was really hard, actually. Last, last tap out to the side. And this leg, nothing's moving. It's still unstable. Staying, don't let it fall to the side here. All right, geez. My butt, oh, it feels a lot today. Okay, so we're gonna uh, roll up into our, uh, our uh, teaser. So teaser is all about timing. As the shoulder blades come up, you're gonna extend the leg and roll up with your ass. It's very similar to the roll up. So lift the arms first on the inhale. Once the shoulder blades are up, you extend the legs, make a nice smooth motion. Find balance on your tailbone, inhale. Exhale, open up, feel the counterbalance, roll the spine down, return to start position. Let's, let's make it a little more smooth. Uh, I sort of hesitated a little bit right before extending my legs. So it's arms, head, shoulders, legs, spine. Inhale, open up, roll down. When my shoulder blades hit, I pull my leg back in. Let's try it again. Inhale. Exhale. See if I can keep my legs straight. Inhale. If your legs are straight, just peel away from it and return. Inhale. Exhale. Once you get a little more accustomed to teaser, you can really feel it in the timing for your body. So you'll know when it's time to extend the legs, how quickly to extend it, at what angle. Try to leg straight if you like. Same thing, get those shoulder blades off the floor, then lower the leg as needed to create the counterbalance. Peel down, 
and then lift the legs up. A little more challenging to the quads and hip flexors for sure here. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. All right, so that's teaser for you. We're gonna do uh, roll ups in a little bit, and it's very, very similar to teasers. But before we get there, let's do something else from the spine. All right, so we haven't lifted our legs yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. It's a hip extension. Make sure your feet are apart, okay? So we have a couple positions for our arms. I would say this is the W. It, right, it kind of looks like a W, bent elbows. And then we have the T out to the side. And then we have the Y sort of to the uh, forward diagonal. And then we have the I. The I, I would say, is the hardest. And feel free to skip it. Feel free to pick any arm position you want. So the first thing is leg extensions like this, keeping the leg straight and squeezing the butt. Don't worry about height. Think length. Reach the toes away from the top of the head. So we lift with the W arms. So basically the hands just float right off the ground. That's it. Let's try it again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, low. Now if you want to try the T, you're going to extend the arms to the side as you lift the legs. Inhale, T. Exhale. We always come back to the W though, okay? Inhale, T. I'm also lifting my legs, and you don't have to lift your legs if you don't want to. Let's try the Y. Inhale, Y. Exhale, return back to that W, so pull those elbows back and down. Inhale, Y. And again, the I is the hardest because it goes straight ahead. And if that feels challenging or you feel any impingement in your shoulders, don't do it. Just go back to the W, go back to the T's. All right, I'm gonna try it. Inhale, Y. So I'm getting my bicep really close to my ears here. Last time, inhale, Y. I mean, I. I, not Y, I. Okay, so that was eight, eight leg lifts. Let's come into a plank. Feel free to do the plank on your elbows. I'm going to show it on my wrist because I did the earlier one on my elbow. We're going to once again be moving a leg. Um, and before I do it, um, basically you want to have stability in one leg so you can draw a little circle about, again, 30 degrees. Don't go too far out to the side. So if I have my feet hip distance apart and I'm on my plank, you want to have all your strength and weight into one leg so my front leg can just glide. Glide. One more time. Out, exhale, inhale. Now transfer the weight to the front leg, other leg glides. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Just dragging my toenail across the floor. Stable though, see my pelvis is not moving. Let's try the front leg in. Exhale, out. Inhale, return. Exhale, out. Inhale, return. There should be range of motion in your hip socket joint. Last time, three times for the back leg. Exhale, inhale. Drag and drag. Last time, drag and drag. Good. And again, it's your remaining three limbs that are doing a lot of work and stabilization while the other leg moves around. Okay, let's do some kneeling plank. So again, you can do this on your side and also on your um, elbows. So you can be here like this while we do some leg lifts. Um, and then this is just another variation here. We're on our knees, on the wrist. I've just kind of doubled up my mat to give my knees a little extra cushioning. And we're doing the same leg lift. So kneecaps face forward for eight, seven, six. So you can be down on your thighs and on your elbows. Two, 
two, and one. Good. Switch. For eight. Try to lift the parallel. It's okay if you don't plug it there. The important thing is that you don't rotate the leg. Keep the kneecaps facing forward. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're not doing too many of these because it's, it's very fatiguing, not just to the other side, but for the stabilizing legs, the leg that's like on the ground. Ugh. Pulsing. So this was full range. We're going to lift to height and pulse it for 16, 15, 14, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, uh, I double the number because, you know, the range is small and it's a little faster. So if we just did eight, it'd be like over in a flash. But listen to your body. Find what's challenging. If, if 16 is a lot, then stop at eight, stop at 10, stop at 12. So not full range, pulsing. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Sometimes if we do all the sideline leg lifts in a row, it's just it's just a lot for the um, the wrist or the side or the the outer thighs. So I just sometimes I'll break it up. And similar with the abs. So we're back to the front of our mats. I know I'm sorry I'm facing like different sides, but you can you don't always have to face the same direction as me. Is this my better side? Just checking. All right, so we are. Leaning back off our tailbone again, creating that curvature, and we're going to extend the leg. So I'm really lightly on my feet, right? Like if I wanted my feet off, I should be pretty balanced. This is kind of like, oh, sorry, I already lifted that leg. Lift the other leg. So this is very similar to the top of your teaser, okay? So forming a very narrow V. So if you lift both legs, it's a V. Very narrow though. Probably feet are just about shoulder width apart. Good. Hold on to that hamstring. Um, it's, it's a little helpful to hold on the hamstring, but if you didn't, it would just be a little more work for your abs. So it's not critical that you hold on to your hamstring. It's really a preference. And then we're going to do our half rollback. Sorry, not our half rollback. Our rolling like a ball. We're going to roll to the base of our shoulder blades. Definitely not rolling to the shoulder blades or the top and definitely not rolling to the back of the head. Let me show you a way to do it where I don't feel my abs at all. I basically kicked my legs out there and brought it back and my weight of my legs just did all the work for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to straighten the legs and have them straight before we roll back. And as we fall back, I deepen the curve. Inhale, I crunch, exhale. So you should feel a really intense abdominal crunch the moment your shoulder blade touches. Sorry, not even shoulder blade. The moment sort of your mid-back touches. All right, so we're here. It's okay if your knees are bent a little bit. Inhale, exhale, crunch, and pause. So try to do the legs as straight as can be because the more your legs are bent, the more it could swing. So you're basically trying to take the swing action out of your legs, right? Because you can't kick your legs like this and bend your knees again, uh, which gives you so much momentum. So if your legs are mostly straight and ready, inhale, exhale. So you can rest here, straighten, roll back, inhale, exhale, bend to pause. If you need to bend your knees, straighten again before you do the rolling like a ball, or what we also call open leg rocker. Okay, let's do one more. Inhale back, exhale. And hopefully every single time you were coming back up, you felt the crunch. All right, I'm going to do something on my wrist, so uh, feel free to do um, exercises once again on your um, on your elbows here. 
You can do uh, an extension like this. You can also do it completely on the floor like this. Um, but I am going to do a push up fine final balance combination. So the wrist is underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. You're going to inhale on the way down, bending the elbows towards the rib cage for the hips. Exhale, lift, inhale, reach. Arm and leg to parallel. Exhale, return. Inhale, bend those elbows, keeping them close to the rib cage. Keep the spine straight. Exhale, press up. You should feel your triceps as you extend. Inhale. Exhale, return. Inhale to bend. Exhale to lift. Your hand doesn't need to hit the floor, but you should feel your triceps. All right, if you're going back like this, you're probably not feeling your triceps. You gotta go a little forward. I'll lift, second arm, second leg. So just finishing up one more time on each side. If you like, uh, if you don't want to do the push-ups anymore, just, you can just do the spinal balance part. Make it your workout. Inhale, exhale, lift off of the limbs. Last time. Inhale, bend the elbows. Exhale, strain the elbows. Inhale, lengthen the fingertips away from the toe. And exhale. All right, good. Just give a couple spine stretches. So here's a spine stretch. And here's a spine stretch. Let's do uh, a side bend stretch. So with your feet in, they call this mermaid, but you gotta call it mer people now. Stretch towards the bent knee. Well, stretch away from the direction of your bent knee, I should say. And then come all the way over. Just kind of feel a lengthening here. One more time. Wind all those arms over. Keep breathing. Inhale next. So you don't want to just collapse here. Feel a little bit of a lift in the bottom oblique so you can feel a greater lengthening and stretching here. All right. Swing those legs over to the other side. Elbows. Doesn't really matter which side we start with. Starting on the low side here. Windmill. You can just rest this arm, or you can like pull your pull in with your hands into your shins and kind of pull your body down a little lower, which kind of deepens the stretch. Either either option works. I'll stretch here. Right, thank you so much for joining me for Pilates. Hope you all have great Thanksgiving next week. <laughs>